Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It has been a minute, but I am back with a new video, and today we are going to be going over my winter house concept in the winter biome. And yes, I know 1.18 released like about a month ago, <laughs> but I honestly, I built most of this like m also like three or four months ago, but I just kind of got lazy and forgot about it. But here I am, I finished everything up and I want to show it to you guys. And another interesting thing that you guys have been asking for is for world download. So this world that I am on right now will be available to download. Link will be in the description. As long as my other previous like builds and concepts, I'll also make them downloadable. Yeah, those will be in the other video descriptions. I'll update them. But yeah, this is going to be the winter house concept or like winter survival base kind of thing. You know, it's on a mountain, but I don't want to call it a mountain co base concept because I'm working on something like that right now. That'll be my next video. And yeah, I can't. I really can't wait to show you guys that. That's that's going to be really awesome. I love how it's coming come, turning out so far. But all that out of the way. Let's get started. This is where you guys will spawn and pretty much like, how do you say it? Like if you're like playing survival, you could always like have this open. So you just jump out, you know, and go explore the wilderness and all that. But yeah, we'll just patch it up because it's just for looks right now and not really any practical use, but we'll get up here you know we have like a little pathway there's snow on the trails but as long as like most of it's gone I don't really mind it and yep here's my uh, little credit thing right there and we'll go up here we have some like lights in the floors and yeah before we go in this is the house you can see it kind of looks kind of weird it kind of looks weird right there but I, don't know, I could have fixed it, but I just I just noticed it's uh, it's gonna stay like that for now. And yeah, this is the first uh, room when you enter the house. I am not that good with interior design. Let me just turn down the music. It is really loud. Yeah. So this is the first room. We'll go down there later. We'll finish the rest of the house first. So. Most of the house is actually pretty empty. I'm just not too good with interior designing and like building stuff inside houses. But, you know, I try to make a few things work out. And this is our little elevator thing to go up to the other floors. I think this is the first floor. We'll go all the way up to the top first. And, yeah. This is our little enchantment station. All the way in the roof. You can look out the window, see the beautiful scenery. I just love the way this game looks, especially with the shaders I'm on right now. Oh, it just looks amazing. Better than any other game that's out. And yeah, we'll, we'll get out to all that later. So yeah, we have an enchantment table, we have a nether portal. I didn't build anything in the nether, I just put it here so it looked pretty cool. And out here, we have a little deck area to go outside, you know, on a nice cold wintry day we could be in here with the roof protecting us and still being like outside with nature or something and oh snow is starting that'll be give us cozy vibes for the rest of the video so yeah we'll continue on so that's the top floor we'll come down here this is the main floor essentially Right here, this is our bedroom, and yeah, it's the day after Christmas when I'm recording this, so we have a, an ender chest, but it kind of looks like a regular chest, too, in a way. We've got our like basic tools, a jukebox to jam out, a large chest to store some stuff, and our bed, because what bedroom is finished without a bed, you know? That's like the most, it's the one thing you need, that's why it's called a bedroom. And the next room over here, this is our little like furnace area. Still got a window going outside, see how it's snowing. And this is all just chests of store stuff, like oh yeah, I filled it with coal. 
forgot I did that, but I did. I guess this is where you go put stuff to like how you smelt it or you need to smelt. And yeah, as you see, I didn't really do too much out here. You know, I'll leave that guys up. I'll leave that up to you guys because I, I really suck with building the inside of houses, to be honest. But moving along, we'll come outside. This is our like little deck area, another deck area that like goes farther out. This is some green grass area. You know, you could like build some like redstone projects, test stuff out over here. You know, just go all the way down the side of the house. You could look out and see, you know, what's going on in the distance. And yeah, coming down here. We have a little campfire to the left, you know, we can sit, get, gather a few friends, you know, sit around. I only build this just so it looks cool. I don't actually build it for like any real purpose or functionality, you know. I'm in creative mode right now, as you guys can see. I just build it so it's like cool, I, cool ideas and putting it all together. But yeah, so this is our campfire. We have a little like glowstone and leaves thing going all around the perimeter once again. I could have made that look much better, but I kind of forgot to. So it's just going to stay like that, as I said before. And coming over here, we have a hot tub with lava underneath it. Ooh, fancy. Not lava, fire. <laughs> it's small, but you know, it works. You know, come down here. When it's snowing, you could come take a dip in the pool. And it's nice and warm. And you could flip up these trap doors so it won't be a deep pool. It would just, like, you could stand in it, the whole thing, without, like, falling. And I could have automated this with a button, but I didn't think of that until just now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's our little hot tub. Once again, I could have, like, patched it up, pieced it up together, but I like it, you know? And yeah, this is pretty much the main outside area besides all that, but we'll get to that in a second. And here you see there's like snow on the ground. I I just put torches everywhere because when it snowed before it would cover up all this and I'd be like, well you can't see like the floor or anything, it just looks like snow. So I just threw torches around so that at least like give it a floor. That's why it's like all scattered around. Doesn't look the best, but don't really know what else I could do with that. And yeah, moving along, coming down here, back to like the main floor, we could look outside. We could come down here. We have a little hallway with, you know, the same style glowstone and leaves. I think they're spruce leaves, yeah. I kind of used all the materials to match the biome theme. And yeah, I think it looks pretty nice, you know, with all, especially with shaders. You know, shaders is my favorite Minecraft mod. And, yeah, it just makes everything look so much better. And moving along, this is the, like, floor to the upstairs. And I just left it as is. And here's a little bridge that goes across to our farming area. These are some cool little glowstone light posts. And up here we have cows, sheep, pigs, and a storage room for all of them with the same leaves and glowstone style. I really like the style a lot. You'll probably end up seeing me using it in a lot of my builds and projects. And this is just a place to store stuff. And yeah, I have it I have it just wrapping around so like any of you guys download the map, you get to expand it, you know. Be creative, see what you guys come up with, or like do something with the back end and all that. And then same thing with over here, I just made it branch around just so you could reach around and give some more floor space pretty much to the farm. And yeah, if we come back, going down here, it's... Uh, Got our little farm. I had to put torches up here because the snow, the water was actually freezing. But yeah, had to improvise on how to do it. 
Okay, we can just come here, collect, collect your wheat. Feels weird, like breaking wheat in creative mode, <laughs> to be honest. But yep. So we just have wheat and carrots. Probably should have potatoes too, but you know, just realized it. You know. <laughs> It is what it is. It's, this is still functional. You can just replace carrots with potatoes. And yeah, this is a, a cool little wall I built. Since instead of like being a, just a dirt stone wall, decided to make it, give it like a cool design with the water fountain in here. I have torches up there. So water wouldn't freeze. And the glowstone to just give some more like ambient lighting. And yeah, this is pretty much the base. This is what the house looks like, like from this part, this area. And oh yeah, here's a storage room for the. We actually forgot I put this here for like all the stuff you grow here. It's like off to the side when you need it, and it's also like out of the way, so it's like not doesn't bother you. And yeah, it's already becoming nighttime, and that is pretty much the whole base. You know, it's pretty small. I'd consider it like a mid-tier base. Like you're like, it's like, like comparing it to survival. I'd I'd say it's like a, you're pretty good with survival, but you're not like fully there yet. You like, and you spend like focus a lot of time on building instead of like rushing to get to the Ender Dragon. I, that's how I pretty much like consider this type of house and base. And this is what it looks like from far away. Sorry, I just got a phone call, but yeah, this is what the base looks like from far away, or like from the distance at night, in the snow, obviously. And yeah, it does look pretty cool. I'll turn off my thing so you guys can see it better. And we'll set, we'll make it daytime, just so you guys can see what it looks like during the day. And I'll actually change the weather too. We'll see how it looks like all around with all the different types of uh, weather and times of day. This is just basic daytime, you know. This is where we started. This is where it looks like from the back. And yeah, I like this base a lot. I think it's pretty cool. I think it came out halfway decent. And I cannot wait to make more bases in the future, more like building concepts because I actually really enjoy making these types of videos just got to get used to actually like doing the commentary because uh, I kind of suck at it but hopefully I'll get better as time goes on and yeah this is like the bridge I gave it like cool little like, design like support design overall I think it came out pretty nice and yeah, this is what it looks like during the day. I'll change it so it'd be so it's nighttime. Let's see what it. Yeah, this is how it looks like during nighttime with no rain or snow, just basically clear weather. And yeah, I like how everything like has a glow to it, especially with like the way the sky looks and the all the snow in the background. I think it looks halfway good, decent. Yeah. We'll go all the way around. And yeah, that's where we started. We'll go, keep going around. This is sort of like an under part of the base. I didn't really do anything with this, or like Mark. I keep calling it a base of the house. And. Yeah, this is what it looks like at night, especially with like the bridge and the moonlight shining through it. Oh, dude, that just looks awesome. Yeah, I, I really love these shaders. And we'll now do nighttime during the rain. Or not rain, snow. And for some reason, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you look, like, look at the house right now, there's like a weird warping effect. I think that's just part of the shaders, but it does. I do notice it if that's something you guys are like pointing out. And yeah, I'll keep going around. I like how like 
puts like a fog in the distance because of all the snow and have the shaders like process everything. It's like a little haze. House is like a little, just slightly harder to see. And yeah, this is what it looks like when it's snowing. And I think that will just do it during the day. Day is like where it really looks like a blizzard is coming through with all the like snow in the background and just like the house on top of a of a pretty big hill and yeah this is pretty much it for the video you see let's do one more look around see what it looks like when we're up here oh the front of the house yeah I think this I, I just I, I think it looks awesome and yeah this is pretty much the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any ideas for future concept uh, videos feel free to drop them in the comments below I'm open to like pretty much all ideas I, I really love building in this game and I'm trying to get back to the survival series but that's just hard that just takes a lot of time that I don't really have but I'm not going to get into that. You guys don't want to hear about that. Once again, if you guys want to download and play on this map, it'll link will be in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.